Most of the 70,000 people who arrive each day at Heathrow have a perfectly good reason to come to Britain, whether it's business, pleasure, or simply coming home. But some people are trying to get in and stay in the country illegally. Officer Lisa Lee is one of Heathrow's 1,700 UK border agency staff. Today, she stopped a student returning to Britain after spending five months back home in Pakistan. Mr Qureshi, you come with me. I have your ticket passport here, OK, sir? All right? He says he's here to take exams, but a quick call to his college throws his story into doubt. They say he's never attended at all. Officer Lee wants to search the passengers' bags as they might reveal what he's up to in the UK. So how much is here? Uh, £2,080. Yeah. So you have yeah. a job here? Uh, yeah, I have a job. Yeah. What were you doing here, and, sir? Uh, minicab office is a controller. Controller in a minicab office. Yeah. As a student, the man is allowed to work as long as it's only part time. He's adamant his main reason for being here is to study. The only problem is to be a genuine student you need a genuine college. I, I go to in my college in every day, but they are not uh, studying uh, him. They are only uh, uh, cashing the price. Please give me a gesture. It's my future. OK, so yeah. Well, we'll talk uh, yeah. about that in a moment. Yeah? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment, your future, yeah? Yeah. I'm very hard work for students. So I know you're anxious, I know you're nervous, but you need to wait for me, all right? Give me a gesture, gesture. If you follow me? Yeah. He's very nervous. He's almost pleading with me to let him in. Give, give me a gesture. So, as I said to you, I will talk to you in a moment, OK? He said a few things about his studies. I'm going every day, but they are not teaching or something. So I need to try and work out what he means. But he's clearly very worried. He actually asked me if I was going to deport him. And I said, well, I don't know what will happen yet. Just, you know, bear with me and answer my questions. The passenger is desperate to be heard. He wants Officer Lee to investigate his college. Okay. Please give me justice. I am a real student. I am, I am sir, a hard worker. Sir, yeah. justice is a big word, all yeah. right? So you, you have, have to bear in mind yeah. that I have to follow the rules. Yes, you have followed okay. the rules. But the uh, college has given me a, a deceive to me. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? He's claiming that um, the college is bogus in that he was attending when he was meant to attend and they were not running classes. Now, they've said to us immediately, we rang them, he's never attended. The problem he's got is he stayed here for six months without doing any, appearing to do nothing. And he's now saying he's coming back to find another college. Um, so either he's not being completely honest or the college is um, fibbing. Officer Lee must find out who is telling the truth. It seems the college is sticking to its guns, backing up its claims in writing. What I have here is a, a fax from the college, which says that he enrolled on a 12-month course for an advanced diploma in business admin, which should have commenced last March 2008. They claim to have written to him concerning his poor attendance, but they never received any response, and so they have uh, removed him from their register which essentially means he has no place to study. Um, so now we need to get to the bottom of his allegations as well. Mr Qureshi? And to make sure his allegations are understood, the passenger has asked for an interpreter. How long did you attend the college for? Uh, uh, on and off Jatarao's college. For six months I went on and off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they didn't teach anything there. Fees, lady. And they took my tuition fees off me. How much did you pay them? So less a pound. Sixteen hundred pound. Okay. We spoke to your college and they gave us this. I'm only year fax page up and take it. No parking but all. To mind the college at the Nayoti. He said I'm I'm saying to you, you investigate this college. Or man in a quick letter received Nakia. There are absolutely no classes that go on and I haven't received any letter from them. OK, the difficulty I have is that you were here for six months and you did nothing about this college. They had more money. And they were asking me for more money. I didn't have any further access to any funds and I was afraid that they were going to report me to the Home Office 
and remove me. When you arrived today, you told me that you were coming back to continue your studies yeah. and that you would take exams in March. Why would you say that if you're not going to attend that college? Eventually, I would enrol at a different college, but in the meantime, I didn't want to be stopped by immigration. So you lied? I remember. Yes, I did. So you sought to secure your entry to the UK by employing deception? If I had no money, I had no other way. I've always worked hard. My father's a kidney transplant patient. And my mother is old. And my mother is old. I'm I'm the only son. He goes, in any sense, I'm not going to go back because my, my father will get, have an heart attack. He's saying, don't ruin me, help me. <laughs> if the passenger is to avoid being sent back home, he needs Officer Lee to believe his allegations. Oh, no, and to accept that he's here to find a new college.